Hey guys and girls, I'm James and welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a look at my 16th Holy Stone to review the Holy Stone HS110D. So this drone has been out for a while, but after I reviewed the last one that's been out for a while, because so many of y'all said it was the best flying drone by Holy Stone, so many of y'all chimed in and said that this is the best flying drone by Holy Stone. And you know what? I gotta agree. This is the best brushed motor drone I've ever flown. It's not a GPS drone, flies altitude really well, but this thing's really fast. There's no latency when it spins, it turns, and handles incredible and light wind. You can't fly it if it's real windy because it's not a GPS drone, but it flies really, really good. It's got modular batteries. It does use the same controller as the 700. And you may say, why do you have two of them? Because I loved it so much when Holy Stone sent me it. I had to buy another one so I can give it away at Christmas. I'll be giving away a Holy Stone 175D, the 200, along with some other drones. So be sure and subscribe and and check out the end of the video and I'll go over the details on how to subscribe to win these drones for Christmas on December 15th. So I really believe this is Holy Stone's flagship drone. You, may say, you might say, James, I thought you said the 700E is your favorite Holy Stone drone. And it is, this really is their best flying drone. But, but at the price point that this one is, DJI has just released the DJI Mini SC with the three axis gimbal. And this is more of a professional drone where Holy Stones are more of a budget drone, but they have their part in the marketplace. Like I've always said, they make the best beginner mini drone when the HS210, but with the shortage of chips and raw materials in China, this one's this price point on Amazon right now. Where this one's this price point on Amazon right now, but with a discount and my 5% code, that brings this one under $80. So this one would be your best beginner mini drone, but this one's the best drone to buy. So, so I love the way it's built. I mean, it's built solid. It's not a foldable drone, but it kind of reminds me a lot of the old DJI a Phantom series, which is still the most solid flying drone in the market. So this is a very solid flyer. Uh, the lights are really bright, it comes with two batteries, good flight time, really good camera, and it takes good pictures. It's not gonna get really good video without a three axis gimbal. So let's, so let's go over the app, how to work the camera, and the functions of the drone, and how to get it in the air. And then I'll come back for my final review and more information on the drawing on December 15th with me and my beautiful wife, and we'll give away all those drones. All right, so let's see what she weighs in at. She weighs in at 157 grams, which is about eight ounces. So how much is 157 grams? 157 grams is slightly used roll of toilet paper. So it comes with the remote, prop guards, extra legs, and comes with the extra set of blades and they are labeled very nicely so you get that straight it comes with a handy dandy screwdriver and that's how you attach the blade so you take off this little screw right there and you, you can attach them it comes with two extra lights in case you break one of the ones on the bottom it comes with an extra battery it's a thousand milliwatt amp battery and it comes with attachment that goes on top of the remote if you want to use your phone a nice bag to put everything it comes with a nice instruction booklet now it does come with one charging cable and the reason it does that is because you have to put the battery into the drone to charge it by plugging it in right there. And you can fly it without the camera. It just pops right off, but I wouldn't suggest that because it has the antenna on it. And this is how you turn the drone on and off. And there is no SD card. It records it straight to your phone. So it's the first time I've seen a cover like this, but this is the same remote that comes with the uh, 175. Uh, if you look right here, it, it gives you all your directions and instructions. But when you turn it on, it'll also tell you the speed is up and down right here. This is how you start and stop. And then this is how you set the gyros. We'll go over that in a minute. Right here is your trim buttons. So if, if it seems to be sliding to the left or sliding to the right, you push up or down on these two. It takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get the hang of it. So it is not a GPS drone, it is a Wi-Fi drone. What you do is you open up to page 123, and if you have an iOS, you put that in your camera, open up the app, download it. It's the HSS2FPV. <laughs> That's a new one, I haven't heard of that one. Once it's downloaded, you open it up, then you turn the drone on. You see they're blinking red, right? So you put the drone down on a flat surface, go back to your Wi-Fi on your settings, Open up your Wi-Fi. You see Holy Stone FPV, you touch that. You wait till it's checked. Light, and the lights are still blinking red. So you go back to the app. And wow, the camera's already working. But it, the gyros still are not set because the lights are still red. So you turn on the remote. It, you see them blink. So it's 
It's linked to the remote, but it's not set gyro. So it's up and down here. So they're, now they're solid, but set it back down on a flat surface and push this resync button and that sets the gyros. And they flash again, then they stop. You have to do this every time you take off or you crash. So remember it's up, down, push this button. So on the app, I wouldn't use the app while you're flying. It's big, it's full size when it's on your phone. So on the remote, I forgot to mention, on the top is that you push down once to take a photo and it took a photo and you hold down to take for two seconds. And you see the camera will start blinking. It'll beep continuously as it's recording. So press it again to stop. So if you push this button, it'll start the props. And then you just push up and it'll start. Push it again to stop. Or emergency stop as you push down on both these. If it's flying towards a pond and it's, or it's flying away from you and just push down on both of these. So it's really important to make a pre-start checklist to go over everything before you put it in the air for the first time. Engine start. Oh. That's really quick. Holy moly. This thing's really fast. Okay, a little bit of wind. You know what, it's another black copter that hits it. I kind of want to put like a red dot on the front or something. You can see the blue dots in the back are beeping. All right, let's stop this beep, man. So long press to stop the camera. There we go. Take a picture. Take a picture. All right, let's send her up. Okay, so several of y'all have asked me to show video just from the drone, even if it is a budget drone. And look, this is pretty good. Right here, I almost hit that tree. I know it doesn't look like it in the video, but I probably came within a foot of... This thing's so fast, I just can't believe how much land it could travel in just a couple seconds. Um, you see the video is really kind of glitchy. That's just the way it comes across with the transmission. Um, Right here, I'm holding the drone to try to show how smooth I could possibly get, and it still comes across a little bit glitchy. But you see there's no wind, so that's the day I'm flying it with no wind. And here's a couple pictures. Look at this picture. It did really good taking pictures. So if you want to take it on vacation or just take it out and get some good photos, the photo quality is excellent. Y'all, it's really quick. Forward, backwards, no latency. I'm not into flips, but let's, let's, I think it said what? Is this a flip button right here? Yeah. Turn that off. All right. That beep is kind of annoying. Man, this thing's fast. <laughs> wow. How is this little thing so fast? again. Oh, they're both blinking now. Put it up, put it out over the water. Now the sun comes out, my battery's dead. Oh, there it goes.
All right. So thanks so much for watching my review of the Holy Stone 110D. I mean, this is an amazing drone for under $100, but right now it's under $80, which would make it a great Christmas present. Um, so who is this drone for? Well, it would make a great first time drone. Even though I've always said the 210 is the best beginner mini drone to learn the orientation of a drone, the price is so close to these and this one has so much more to offer and you can fly it outside. I think this might be the best drone for someone to buy as their first drone. Also, even if you've got a lot of drones, this is a great drone to take out and fly around to practice on to hone your skills because it's really fast. It's a great drone to come over and someone wants to fly one of your expensive drones, you can pull this one out and let, and let them fly this one. So should you buy one? No, buy two and give one away. People will like you more. So as always, if you got something out of this review, uh, please like and subscribe. So pertaining to the drawing, so all you have to do is like and subscribe or already be subscribed and leave a message and just say the word Christmas. And I'll put you in the drawing for one of these drones, uh, the 200 or 175 and a couple other drones that we're going to give away on December 15th. That way I can try to get them shipped out and be to you by Christmas. So back is the bingo ball machine for the drawing and I'll post your letter and your number on the Facebook page before December 15th. Unfortunately, I've had a lot of problems sending them to India. I'll try again, and if your country will not let me ship drones to you, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Also in past times, when I give away the drone, so many people email me begging for a drone. I'm so sorry, I can't give them to everybody, but we'll give these away for Christmas. So if you want, ask me any questions underneath and I'll answer them. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.